Hello YouTube, it's Rob from Maxwell's Grass Cutting Services based in the northeast of England. I hope everybody's well and having a great day. Today's video, why have I got no battery equipment? No battery mowers, strimmers, uh, leaf blowers, anything. Why? The only thing battery on my van is me Husqvarna headphones and ear defenders. And why? Well, it's down to money and um, cost. Now, when you start out as a gardener, um, for me, it goes into three, you, you start, you're in three phases. Phase one is year one to five, and not many people survive. And you need to be business savvy as well as being able to uh, mow a good lawn and do a little bit of gardening. Bear with me, I'll, I'll explain what I mean by that. And then you get phase two where you years five to ten maybe where you've got all your customers in place you're earning a few quid you've got all your van uh, filled up with the equipment you need you've got your two mowers you've got your two blowers your two strimmers you've got your long reach hedge trimmer you, you know you've got your uh, scarifier uh, and, and the list goes on doesn't it you know you've got your backpack uh, sprayers you, you've got your handheld sprayers you've got your pa one pa6 and this costs an absolute fortune, as well as trying to give yourself a wage, paying for your business insurance. And uh, it's not cheap running a business. Now, for me, in that first phase, um, it's about getting good value and uh, being very, very business savvy. And that's why I've not invested in any battery equipment. Um, for example, your still leaf blower. Um, it's the BE86, I believe. It was 250 quid. And it's a lovely bit of kit. And um, that'll get me probably about four or five years uh, work out of it. Get it serviced every year. It's got a 0 0.4 litre tank. Right, so that's less than half a litre, which is about 90 pence to fill up, and uh, it lasts me a couple of days where all I'm doing is jobbing gardening, where I'm just like cutting lawns and uh, border work and then leaf blowing, just tidying up the finish. So let's for argument say it cost me 50 pence a day to run that machine. Well, that's I'm over the moon on that return, but if I went for a battery one, it's more than double, they're nearly 600 quid. Now, for me. That's not a need to have or a, a must have. It's a, it would be lovely to have. And in one year one to five, I don't think that it's lovely to have it, it is a must. Um, you've got to be really business savvy. For example, um, as a gardener, we can make money from the middle of March until the middle of November, weather permitting. That's the grass cutting season, give or take a week or two. And uh, the work floods in, you can be full. But you've got to put some money away for um, December, January and February. They're my lean months. And then it kicks off again mid-March if the weather's canny. This year it kicked off at the beginning of March. We're really lucky. So if you're like me, I put money away every month for the winter months. So, <coughs> excuse me, so I give me a wage. I give myself a set wage every month, 12 months of the year, and my business pays for that. And then I have to put money away for tax, insurance, the van, the kit, and it's endless. And if I was to say, I've got a, um, a long reach uh, hedge trimmer, but it's a still combi. So I bought the still combi engine, and then I bought all the attachment. And I think I've spent about 1,400 quid on the attachments. I've got the long reach hedge trimmer, I've got the extension, I've got the tiller, um, what else have I got? They've got the strimmer attachment, so it's like a spare strimmer. And I've got quite a few bits and pieces with it, and it works a treat. Now, I've seen the Ego um, system, and it looks great. And yes, I get it's quiet, and uh, it might be better for the environment, and it might be a little bit cheaper to run. But it's nearly 1400 quid for the setup that I would want. Now, would it be good business sense to take 1400 quid out of my account and spend it on that when I don't need it? No, it wouldn't. Uh, and if you do that, I think it's irresponsible. Um, you need a bit of a war chest as well. What do I mean by that? Well, We've always said, if you watch the channel and uh, if you watch other channels like Jeff from McFee's Gardening Services down in Australia. Hello, Jeff. Um, he gives advice saying that uh, you need two of everything. 
when you first start out make sure you have two mowers you have two leaf blowers you have two strimmers you know get two of everything so if one goes down you can bring on the spare or you can share the workout and then that goes into the shop get serviced and mended so you're not losing money during these peak periods and for me year one to five is about building up that equipment base and spending money there, giving yourself a, a wage, getting your, your customer base right and making sure that you can get through the winter months when there's not a lot of work. But as you go, to, and I'm still in phase one, coming to the end of it, but still in phase one. But I'm lucky that I am now in a position where I've got some winter work to carry me through and I've got enough work during the uh, summer months to put money away for the winter and put money away for a war chest in case a mower goes down because let's be how irresponsible would it be me to buy all this fancy battery equipment which is a nice to have not a must have and then not have a war chest so if my mower goes down me hrx 537 yes i could use this still i've got but it won't last forever so you've got to be business savvy if you want to survive in this game don't think it's, oh, I'd love to buy all that gear. Yeah, I've seen the people on Facebook, they say, uh, sorry, uh, YouTube, they say it's wonderful. It is wonderful, but it's a nice to have, not a must have. You know, you've got to get that to sort of set into your, your mindset of running a business. Um, because if you're the best gardener in the world, but you can't budget and you can't sort of set out your goals of getting just getting the equipment the basic equipment to start with and then building slowly over 10 years if you go out and just blow it all on battery equipment and you've got no money for the winter and you've got no money for emergencies you'll fail and people say well rob you're sat in the van talking all the time why don't you do some gardening videos well my youtube channel is about my journey and helping people who start out because when i first started i didn't think there was a channel that answered the questions that i needed to answer there's some brilliant channels showing you how to be a gardener and and what they do on a daily basis mowing lawns but nobody answered these questions that i'm i'm sort of giving you the information now i didn't feel so this is and also i'm chocker at the moment it's wednesday today we got rained off on monday so i'm having to do all my work in less days so you're doing a couple of extra at the end of the, the day hence 10 minutes and i'm in a cup of coffee and I, I'm, I'm sharing this information with you and i was wondering why i'm getting all the messages i've had loads about rob why don't you have any uh, battery equipment and i thought this is unusual me getting all these questions about but nobody's asked me this before and i've done a bit of research and i've seen there's a few youtubers being gifted a few uh, battery mowers um from a well-known company and good luck to them hey i wish them well um but they haven't paid for them and uh, they've got them free and then they're going to give you a uh, a review of what they are what i would say is if you're new and you're in phase one which is naught to five years don't get sucked in by uh, youtube um and I, i'm not criticizing the lads who've got the free gear certainly not but i've been sucked in by it before um when i was in my first couple of years, I went and bought a uh, Hater 48 Pro, I think it was 1200 quid, thinking that I need to put nice new stripes on lawns or so, I wouldn't get work. And I bought it, it was a big lump of metal, and it worked perfectly if you had a nice square lawn, just a small amount of grass on it, and it was as dry as a bone. As soon as it rained, it was rubbish. Anyway, I ended up getting rid of it, and I bought the Honda HRX 537, which was the best move I ever made. And so I got sucked into it by uh, watching YouTube videos, people putting lovely stripes on, thinking that's what it needs. And it doesn't. And YouTube can be a false world. And um, don't get sucked into it. Don't think you've got to have all the fancy new kit. Look at Ken from Kenneth, uh, Ken's uh, Gardening and Window Cleaning Services, Kenneth Taylor in Birmingham. Ken uses an old 48 Pro and it's older than me and I think he paid 200 quid for it and he's had it two or three seasons and it works a treat. Uh, I don't think you'll get Ken spending thousands on battery gear because Ken knows that uh, it's not necessary and Ken's been going, I hope this is right Ken, for over 25 years um, and he's done that by being business savvy and uh, you need to be business savvy um, and if I had uh, loads of money in the bank, 
Would I go out and buy a battery mower, a battery strimmer and a battery blower? No, I wouldn't. What would I do? Um, I've diversified into lawn care. So I've got a, a scarifier. I've got the backpack sprayers and, and I've done my PA1, PA6. But I would love an aerator. Uh, but they're two and a half grand. So I can't justify that. But if I saw a second hand one, a decent one, which would have been looked after with low mileage, I'd probably, I would buy one. But not this year, maybe it's next year. Um, and then I would diversify into something else. Uh, jet washing, maybe it's a, a nice petrol Honda jet wash with a, a flat surface cleaner. Um, so you can do them sort of jobs at the beginning of the season, at the end of the season, just to sort of diversify your business. But I've got two, well, I've got three or four perfectly good mowers. I've got the Honda, I've got the Honda rear roller, I've got the still, I've got a little 16 inch web. Why would I go and spend 1400 quid on a Ego uh, mower with two batteries and a charger when it does no better job than a 600 quid petrol mower. Why would I? Why would I go and spend 12 to 1400 quid on an Ego um, long reach extension, sorry, uh, uh, an engine unit with a long reach head cutter and all the attachments when I've got that kit in the back? Why would I? However, I do realize that People who have big businesses and they have employees uh, and they have lots of turnover and they have a big budget for spending uh, money on equipment, they might want to spoil themselves. And, and I, I get that. Um, and people who have been in business for 10, 15 years and uh, they've got a budget on equipment and it's quite a high budget. Yeah, I understand by the battery gear. But uh, for a single operator, self-employed gardener, um, for me, it's a no-no. It's a luxury, and it's a luxury I don't think people should be taking a risk on. I think you should be putting the money in the bank and uh, putting it in for your war chest. My van, I know the clutch is starting to go a little bit, and I know at the end of this year I've got to get a timing belt. That's going to be a canny bill. So already I'm thinking six months ahead and putting the money aside. So when it comes, it, it's due its uh, service and MOT in January. I know there's going to be a, a huge bill because it's going to need a new clutch and a new timing belt. But the money's there. But it would be irresponsible of me to go and blow that and say, oh, I hope it doesn't go. Because if it goes, the money's not there and you haven't got transport, you cannot earn money. And if you cannot earn money and your business fails, you've got to look at yourself and say, was I organised enough? So business savvy is as equal to being a good gardener. Um, and I hope I hope that comes across. I don't mean I'm not criticizing anybody. If you've been out and spent hundreds and thousands on uh, battery equipment, I wish you well. I really do. But for me, in my position, uh, somebody who's uh, in the first sort of phase one of their journey, I think you've, you've got to get over this. Uh, I want all the glamorous equipment. That's further down the track. At the moment, you've got to get the money in the bank for winter, get your kit doubled up and keep it serviced and keep earning a living and uh, just trying to move forward. So that's why I've got no battery equipment on my van. Now, in five years time, when it comes down in price, and uh, my two blowers or my mowers are ready for replacement and I've been going a bit longer, I, I, I might change my mind. But today, 2022, no battery. It's petrol for me and it offers good value. And uh, yes, I know it's noisy and I know that the battery equipment's a little bit quieter, but um, it, it's a luxury and it's not a, a must have, it would be a nice to have. And at my stage, I wanna keep going and I wanna succeed in business. And if I blow money on luxuries, what you don't need, you're gonna fail. Anyway, that's me. Happy Wednesday. Right, I'm going, I've got two more gardens to do um, before I go home for my tea, all right? So remember, have a great day. And when the green gold's growing, keep mowing. It's growing at the moment, isn't it? All the best now, take care.